Um, first, I want to apologize for those of you who are hoping to learn about language learning. Uh, we'll have that next time. I woke up Friday morning after a really fun evening at the beach to pretty devastating news that the UK had voted to leave the European Union. Now, why is that such a big deal that I had to entirely drop my topic and come up here to talk about it? Um, good question. <laughs> I'm not an economist. I'm not an expert in European treaties and institutions. I think that the economics and the politics of the issue is what you're going to read about in the newspaper a lot. Um, I wanted to share something that you don't hear a lot when it comes to the European Union, which is the personal stories. Uh, the European Union is 500 million people. That's 500 million lives that are pretty much shaped and changed by the European Union. And today I'm going to tell you about my story, but I really urge you to talk to my fellow Europeans here and ask them about what their personal relationship to the European Union is and see what you can find out. Um, I know this is weird because I sound like I'm an American, but I'm not. Um, I lived in France between age 1 and age 24. You don't get much more French than that. Um, and then most importantly, between age 10 and age 18, what I think were the most crucial years of my education and personal development, I attended a French-German school. Is that random? It's kind of random. No, it's not. Um, let me remind you that the European Union, is a, the idea of it is a direct result of World War II and its atrocities. Um, it was originally a project of peace building designed to, and I quote, make war unthinkable and materially impossible. And so here I am, age 10, in France, a country that just 50 years before was being invaded by Germany, going to school with German kids, learning their language. I studied German for 10 years. Um, we were learning about the history of our own country side by side. I travel to Germany pretty much every year. I've embraced their culture. That's Europe for you. I like to think of it as a village where France is my home, but right down the street, there's Spain, there's Italy, the Netherlands, the UK, Germany. We all live together. This village, 70 years ago, was a war zone. And within the span of barely two generations, We've become some of the most prosperous countries who all stand for things like justice and equality, human rights, human dignity. These are all ideas that are not just European. We hold these ideas, each and every one of us, not just Europeans. All of us are here today because to a certain extent, we relate with these ideas. So what happened on Friday? There's dark forces at play in the world today that don't necessarily stand behind the things we stand behind. A lot of fear. It's mostly what it is. Fear of the unknown, fear of the unfamiliar. Those are the fears that we have deliberately chosen to challenge ourselves to every day just coming here, exploring the world. We are so lucky that we can actually do that. I think that we have a responsibility to the world to make it a better place because we can. And my question to you is, what are we going to do about it?